Hi folks, just wanted to do a quick video here validating my moon calculation spreadsheet uh, that I presented in my last video using some fresh astrometric data on the moon's position. So the other night I took some pictures of the moon. Uh, this here is of course a long exposure. This was a 30 second exposure of the moon which completely overexposes the moon itself but allows you to see the stars around the moon and that allows you to astrometrically solve the image based on the positions of the stars and where the moon is in relation to those. Now of course you can't see the moon directly here, you can only see uh, the overexposed ball of light caused by the moon and all the lens, fa lens flares around it. Uh, so to fix that problem I also took a second exposure immediately beforehand, just seconds before that picture, and did a much shorter exposure, exposure so you could see the moon directly. And then uh, I subtracted the background get rid of that uh, nasty light pollution gradient from the image that had the stars and then combine that image with this image to create a combination image that shows both the moon and the stars around it and this can be astrometrically solved and positioned directly on the moon uh, where it was in the sky so I cropped the image down to the moon centered directly on its uh, center and astrometrically solved it and that gives us the coordinates of the center of the image which is also the coordinates of the moon at that time so you can see them here. We're going to compare that to the Excel sheet and see if it matches up. So uh, previously I presented this Excel sheet. It calculates the position of the moon for any given point in time and location on Earth. I've set it to my location and the time that the image was taken, uh, which was actually on the 18th by universal time, and I rounded to uh, 37 minutes uh, after the hour uh, because it's 30 second exposure. So it went through that point in time, and uh, that's good enough. Um, the coordinates it gives, however, are processed to the equinox of date of the observation itself. The coordinates given by astrometry and by most programs is in the standard J2000 format. So I've included a new function uh, to process the coordinates to J2000, and it'll do that automatically for you uh, for any given point in time. So we'll compare that to the J2000 coordinates and see if it matches up. So the center point in the image was detected to be at 4 hours, 0 minutes, 27.3 seconds. According to the Excel sheet, it should have been at 4 hours, 0 minutes, and 22.5 seconds. Uh, declination, positive 19 degrees, 22 minutes, 51 seconds. And according to the Excel sheet, it should have been 19 uh, degrees, 22 minutes, uh, 57.56 seconds. Uh, and the, the uh, angular resolution of the image itself is 64.6 arc seconds per pixel. So we're well within that, well within the resolution of the image itself. In other words, the pixel that corresponds to the center point of the moon in the image is exactly where it should be according to the Excel sheet. So we have validation now of the moon uh, and that the coordinates being given by the Excel sheet are correct. Um, the image itself again has about uh, one arc minute per pixel resolution which is a little bit better than uh, uh, what you can typically see at night with your human vision. So it's a, a little bit better than human vision here. Not telescopic resolution, but this is a quick and easy way of obtaining an image that you can astrometrically solve directly. Um, because if you look at the telescope, uh, if you look at the moon in a telescope, you generally won't see stars around it. It's too bright. Even here you can see how much the stars are, drained, how much the stars are uh, drowned out by the light of the moon uh, within several radius uh, radii of, of the moon's position in the sky. So to astrometrically solve it successfully you need a much wider uh, field of view. So any standard camera, uh, any standard SLR can, can do something like this. All you need is a tripod and a standard uh, SLR camera that you can hold the exposure open for uh, a few seconds in order to record the stars and then do a quick exposure immediately uh, before or after it uh, to combine with it and see the moon's position. Uh, and if you do that you can compare uh, the detected coordinates of the moon to the Excel sheet and verify that it indeed works properly. So with that, I hope you have a nice day.